Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead News series. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of potential upcoming roles into Red Dead Online that have been found, photography and also a lawman. Now before I get into this video, it's worth mentioning that there was a naturalist role found within the game files of Red Dead Redemption 2. This was added along with the Moonshiners DLC, so potentially the naturalist was a role that was planned to release alongside Moonshiners, maybe it was cut content, not ready in time, or there might even be a possibility that the naturalist role could tie into a photography role since a naturalist is all about species and animals and wildlife. But since The Naturalist was found within the game files of Red Dead Online, it's a very telling sign since ownable properties were actually in the game and in the game code well before they were announced or released into Red Dead Online. It's a very telling sign of the infrastructure being put there first. So this news came from Fun2 just a few days on GTA forums and he mentioned that the next update is interesting, more of what was already discussed in interviews. And we'll go over that in just a second. When someone replied to him on the forums saying some of the new roles mentioned, he said I believe the photographer role they talked about is possibly the next one. And if you're wondering, photography? I don't remember Rockstar ever mentioning this. Well Rockstar have never officially confirmed a photography role or update, but they have actually discussed photography in a couple of interviews. And this was interviews they did back in September when they first released the Frontier Pursuits DLC and they were giving their impressions on the, the, the future of the roles and the future of Red Dead Online. So the screenshots I'm going to be showing on screen are from a couple of interviews Rockstar did with VG247 and also Game Informer. Another potential area Rockstar could expand on with a future role is photography, which is something we'd love to do. I'm told if done right, this is something I'm even more excited about than the Lawman vs Outlaws. I can already imagine packing warm clothes, trekking into the mountains and attempting to get a perfect shot of a grazing moose. Maybe we could get more money for better compositions, or depending on what's happening in photos. I'd imagine a similar system to Dead Rising, but like 100% more chill. Rockstar continued by saying, yeah this is such a cool idea. Photography and allowing players to capture their adventures and moments is really important to us, and it's something that we've already established the community love. It's been amazing seeing posses come together for professional photographs thanks to the latest update. We're really proud of Red Dead Redemption 2 and the world we make, and we obviously have the handheld camera in single player, which is also available in Red Dead Online, with players having a lot of fun capturing Arthur in spectacular fashion, sometimes hilariously so, and we have seen that continue in Online. We want to keep building on this and make sure players continue chronicling their experiences as Online grows. So do let me know down in the comments what you guys think of a potential photography role in Red Dead Online. Personally, I'm not sure if photography itself could be something enough to make a, an exciting role out of it. Maybe if it was part of a naturalist role in photography, it was just one segment uh, or one method of ranking up, maybe that would be a bit more interesting. Maybe they could also add the ability to capture specific landmarks or buildings around the map, key signature areas we could take pictures of, something similar to maybe the photo ops in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If you guys didn't know already, in GTA San Andreas, one of the collectibles was actually going around taking pictures of buildings in fictional San Francisco, which is called San Fierro, and you were basically just going around taking pictures of all the key buildings and things like that. But yeah, what I also found interesting looking back at this interview is Rockstar also discussed expanding the trader role into having your own business, which obviously we now know this has turned into the Moonshine DLC. So if Moonshiners is a progression of the trader role, we could assume that the lawman would be the natural progression of the bounty hunter, and then that would only leave the collector as being a future progression into the photography or naturalist role. Of course Rockstar could decide to create a separate set of whole new roles, however in this interview they were very content and talking about expanding on the roles they already have. Talking about the trader role in specific, they said they currently allow players to turn in animal carcasses at the camp which an NPC converts into produce. Once you have enough produce you can take part in supply runs to generate money. This role is the first step on the business ladder Rockstar has planned. More opportunities are coming in later updates to expand your empire. We wanted the player to start at their camp, we thought that was a good fit, you know, we don't want you to jump the ladder too soon, whereas we put you into high-end businesses in Grand Theft Auto quite quickly. We actually want the players to start that first business and then keep going. 
We've got plans to add other business features that the player could do. We just want each one that we add to feel distant from the next one. So it's not like we're going to say, okay, here's the trader, now everything is the same. We want each of these to feel different. We want players to look back and see what they've achieved over time and say that's where I started and now look where I am. We've mentioned before that we'd like players and their characters to experience the journey from running a fledging business at the camp to becoming some kind of industrialist, so it's just a question of creating a fun and logical path from one to the other with the right amount of steps in between. Right now players are running a business out of the camp with Crips as well as developing the camp itself, but the idea is that at some point new opportunities may be too big to be sustained inside the camp so maybe it needs to move to another property. At that point there could be multiple kinds of businesses players can look at running simultaneously. But none of this is set in stone, we're still absorbing the feedback from players from these initial roles and we'll see how we can improve upon these ideas as we go. Now as you can see everything they mentioned about the trader back in September came true, although at this point we had no idea that the Moonshiner DLC was in the works. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated if we get any more information about any future roles in Red Dead Online or any more details or leaks about a photography role or a naturalist role. If you do enjoy these news videos please take a few seconds to leave them a like and don't forget to subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any future breaking information. Have a good one guys and I'll catch you in the next one.